Got to get your mojo back, what? Got to get your mojo back, what? Got to get your mojo back, what? That's what we're talking about today. You got to get your mojo back. Weekday Wonderlust. Weekday Wonderlust serves you bite-sized tips for mindset shifts and business management strategies to get your life in alignment with the travel lifestyle that you want to live. And today... We're talking about getting your mojo back with momentum. So we have been doing a series on momentum all week. And today we're talking about getting your mojo back. Um, If you're feeling like life has passed you by and your goals are in shambles, honey, get a bit of momentum. It may be just what you need to get your mojo back and to actually begin accomplishing things that you love and enjoy your life again. Um, find the actions that you need to take and putting momentum to work in your life um, can put you back on track to success. So you can achieve your goals and your dreams much easier with momentum than without. For example, uh, if you've ever ridden a bicycle, you know that it's better to travel on a straight road than a bumpy one or a hilly one, right? It's we coasted, we coasted, honey. But if you're going up that hill, no. No, you're not going to have a lot of momentum going uphill. So momentum actually provides that straight road, um, free of the obstacles that help you actually move along. And any vision or business idea or a goal requires momentum to smooth that road out and make it easier, uh, more fun and more viable. Um, Some of the friction, keeping your momentum slowed down includes distractions, uh, procrastination, disorganization, apathy, and lack of confidence. Um, Bad habits can wreak havoc on setting your goals and following through with your task. Um, uh, For some of us, one thing may be just a bump in the road, while for others, it's literally like climbing a mountain. Um, So take some time to sit down and really figure out what's made your momentum stall and why you've never achieved liftoff with any of your goals whether they be personal or business. Um, When you write down some of the obstacles that are holding you back, you can take steps to actually overcome them. Um, Besides taking action to create momentum in your life, you also have to ensure that you have the right mindset for success. Um, All of your goals may be set, and you may even have some actions taken to get the plans moving, but if you don't have the excitement or the enthusiasm that you need, any well Any well laid out plan is bound for failure. You've got to be sure that you have that that excitement and that enthusiasm to achieve your goals. Um, And if you don't have that enthusiasm for a project or for a life change, let it go. Let it go. Because without any excitement, you're not going to be motivated at all. And that momentum is never going to get off the ground. So it's best to either let it go or go back and analyze why you were once excited about it. What caused you to want to achieve that particular goal in the first place? And then using that momentum to get your mojo back will propel you on to success. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. In order to get your mojo back, guys, if it was something that you lost it for, go back and try to remember what was the feeling? What feeling did you get when you initially set out to accomplish that goal? I'm going to holler at you guys. Friday, we're still talking about momentum for weekday wanderlust. See you on the other side of success.